after this video i don't want to hear any excuses on why you can't manifest because yes you read the title correctly i want to give you 100 ways that you can you can manifest your desires i actually typed up and recorded 100 ways you can literally manifest your desire and this video was inspired by the many videos i saw on youtube um a couple years ago about 100 things you can do when you're bored 100 activities you do this and that and that so i was like why can't there be a video for 100 ways to manifest your desire because there's definitely 100 ways to manifest your desire you can manifest your desire in any different way so i was like okay let's make a video on this and here it is it definitely took a lot of time and effort and you got to be creative with some of these because I'm already going to let you know right now. If, if you see one of the ways and you're like, I never heard of this before. What is this? Yeah, I may, probably made that up. But it's still a way to manifest your desire, okay? I'm not just like making it up and it makes no sense. It actually makes sense. You probably just never heard of it before or it's not commonly talked about. But it's a method. It's a technique. It's whatever you want to call it. Why did I want to make this video? Because I just did. Anyway, I don't want to waste any more time. So let's get into the video. The first way is setting an intention. Setting an intention is super simple, but very powerful and very underrated. You can intend, I intend to have an amazing day. I intend that my, I have the best year ever. I intend to attract amazing friendships. I intend that this person will text me. You simply just set an intention and trust it will happen. Trust it will be because you are setting intentions all the time, but why not just make conscious intentions every moment of your life? It'll make it much more magical. Number two, have a list of affirmations that you can read in the morning, night, or wherever in your room that you want to repeat regarding any topic. And the more you recite these affirmations, the more you saturate your mind and remind yourself that these affirmations are your fact and reality. And we print them out so we see them where we are. So if you're in your room a lot, if you have these printed so you see them and they visually get imprinted in your mind as well. So if you're not a fan of printed affirmations, you're like, I don't want to waste paper, okay? And you're always on the go, you're not really in the house that much. You can write your affirmations in your notes and repeat them at your own convenience. No need to bring a sheet of paper with you all around. You can just have it in your phone. You have your list of affirmations in your phone. If you don't like using phone notes or if you're not able to use your phone throughout the day as much because it's kept away, you can write your affirmations on Google Doc or Word because you can pull them up anytime and look at them and repeat them and remind yourself of them. If you don't like the printed sheet because it's just too big and too inconvenient, you can write your affirmations on sticky notes and place them all over your house, in your room, on your fridge, on your laptop, mirror, wherever you go most commonly in your daily routine. And placing these affirmations everywhere will help you get out of your, of your autopilot mind for a moment and remind you that you're getting what you want and you have all your desires because you're seeing them in your daily routine. So you're constantly getting reminded that, oh, I have this, I have this, yes, it's happening, it's happening, it's done, it's done. You can also create a calendar with different affirmations for each day. You can do this manually, like you can write out the affirmation for every day on your calendar or with digital tools if you don't have a physical calendar and you have like an online one, you can write out, you can write out an affirmation every day or keep the same one for the week or the month. You can choose the same one for the week or you can have a different one every day. You choose what you want. Now the list method involves writing a simple list of all the things you would like to manifest and simply affirming i manifested everything on my list everything that i've on my list manifested we'll have subliminals on this topic people have an affirmation tape on this topic so if you don't want to repeat this to yourself you can also listen to a tape about this topic now mirror work involves you speaking your affirmations while looking at yourself in the mirror and, and this is very powerful because you're directly looking at yourself in your eyes and saying that i am beautiful i'm enough i'm worthy i deserve to have this money i deserve this and you can do this while you're doing makeup fixing your hair doing skincare or even brushing your teeth you can look at yourself in your eyes and repeat your affirmations in your mind or out loud if you want to save time and not have to write out your own affirmations you can use an app and i really like this app called i am and it gives you i'm not sponsored by this app by the way but this app gives you daily affirmation reminders through your notifications and you can customize how frequently you want this app to send you the specific affirmations and it allows you to also create a widget so you can put it on your home screen and whenever you open your device you can see the affirmation which also automatically changes so it's not stuck on one affirmation it constantly changes every time you open up your device or like after certain time period the app that i mentioned before doesn't really give you its own like set of affirmations if you don't if you want the free version of it so you can set out your own alarms and own notifications using your phone you can write whatever affirmation you want and 
set an alarm of what exactly time you want to receive a notification of this and whenever you get that notification you use that time and repeat the affirmation out loud or in your mind when you see it i have done this before but basically you take post notes and or small pieces of paper and you write out your affirmations fill up the drawer and every day or whenever you need to fill out an affirmation and anytime you need an affirmation to repeat or just a simple nice reminder you can pull out a little sticky note or piece of paper and open it and see what affirmation you need to hear or need to repeat and that's the one you should remind yourself for the day for the week for the month whatever but i love affirmation darts they're fun to have around and whenever you feel like you need a little boost or a little reminder of what you need to tell yourself you just pick it up and you can go ahead and repeat it okay so now we're going to talk about scripting okay scripting involves you writing down a scenario in your journal as if your desires already happened scripting 1x means that you write it once and then you just forget about it you just leave it you just trust that it's happening you forget it you basically just forget about it you write the scenario down as if it happened and then that's it you're done you don't ever look at it again now 21 to 30 day scripting reading is you read that scenario you wrote down as if your desire happened and read it over and over for 21 to 30 days in the morning night um both or three times a day you're basically taking that script you wrote and then you're reading it over and over and over and over some people like this method over just writing and forgetting about it because this just constantly reminds them yes 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 this is my reality this is my desire you're instead of writing like a out there scenario like something you want to manifest like and reading it over and over every day you're writing a new scenario so today i got this much money i met these amazing people this opportunity came to me my video went viral like every day you're writing a new scenario and always it doesn't have to be paragraphs and paragraphs and an essay it can just be like one paragraph a couple sentences that indicate how you want your intent day to go and i also do this i write a little scenario script every day about what I want my day to go and yeah it helps a lot and it works if you don't like the scenario you can just you can just write out one affirmation it's a popular law of attraction method to basically get you to re reprogram your mind to repeat the affirmation by just either writing it down so you can write out one or two affirmations 55 times for five days or 33 times for 33 33 days or 22 times for two days something like that it's like it just involves straight up writing the same affirmation over and over and over and over until it gets drilled in your subconscious so for people who don't really like repeating it in their mind in their head writing it out can help them to ingrain that affirmation by writing it down over and over and over and over again now if you don't want to write um a scenario every single day like how i do you can just write one scenario every month and write one thing or just a lot of stuff you want to manifest all at once and basically you're going to use that monthly script to guide your month and you're going to persist in whatever you wrote in there that one month script for your month and you can write a new script every month every month you can also write a yearly script which basically you want to write down exactly how you want your year to go from uh, what you want to experience to the things you want to feel to how you want to act how you want to see yourself by the end of the year you can write a scenario as if your desire already as if your year already happened and then the affirmations you can use to carry on that script is all my desires manifested this year whatever i wrote down and my thing manifested and you can just use those affirmations to affirm that yes you, the script that you wrote is working it's real it's 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 your life and you can use the affirmations that you wrote in your yearly script to to as affirmations to you you want to persist in sleeve scripting so this involves you having a scenario or having a script written down and what you're gonna do what you're gonna do is essentially take that script and put it underneath your pillow okay and you can create it's kind of like a placebo effect you're kind of creating the belief that you're sleeping on your desires and you're gonna wake up with them because kind of like a placebo effect you can do you can put the script underneath your pillow and essentially bring your desires to reality that way by waking up to them you know affirmation cards so i do have a video on how i made mine but you can create affirmation cards with index cards or playing cards whatever one you want you can write whatever affirmation you want make it as simple or as artsy as possible you can get really creative with this and then pull an affirmation out every day and you can repeat the one uh, affirmation you get for the whole day or you can pull out different ones or you can just do whatever you want again you can be free with this it's not like a strict rule 
Okay, affirmation quiz. I think this is super creative and I saw this Bo Dietrich had this idea. Basically, you create a quizlet with your affirmations and every day you go through the quizlet and you repeat your affirmations. So if you don't want to create like a physical in index card affirmation deck, you can just do that on Quizlet because obviously like we can do that on Quizlet. You can just put down your affirmations and then use the flashcard option, do use the test option, use the typing, writing out option. It's so fun actually. I really I tried it before and she has a couple affirmation um, quizlets made already so I can link that. You can record your own affirmations with um, a parrot app or any other voice recording app that allows you to record your voice and loop it and you can make it feel as natural as possible and you can listen to those affirmations whenever you want whether you're sleeping, whether you're in your waking life, doing dishes, doing the laundry, walking, you can listen to those affirmations anytime. And for people who don't want to hear their voices, you can use text-to-speech or TTS voices. You can use CapCut or any other editing app to, to create text-to-speech affirmations and you can use it. You can use any voice. You can loop it over and over and over and over again by inserting it into the Loop Player app, which is what I also do as well. Now, if you don't feel like putting all that work by creating your own affirmations, okay, you can already find uh, many, many, many affirmation tapes on YouTube, um, such as my second channel, which I use TTS app, text to speech, um, create my affirmation tapes, or you can um, go to someone that uses their own voice, such as Higher Frequency Guru, which I absolutely love her affirmation tapes. She makes such amazing ones. So I highly recommend you check me and her out because, yes, they're really good and really powerful. But if you're not a fan of affirmation tapes, okay, you don't like them and you want to hear variety, you don't want to keep hearing the same repetitive statements over and over again, you can go ahead and listen to people like Lavender or Lior Alexandra, which have like slower spoken affirmations in their voices that cover a large variety of topics rather than the same few couple affirmations repeated over and over and over and over. If you find listening to affirmations super boring, just listen to songs and music that have some positive affirmations. I can make um, my playlist public if you guys want to, which I listen to once in a while when I need a little boost. But basically, these songs just have positive affirmations embedded with them with catchy lyrics. So it's like a win-win because you're, you're getting the positive reinforcement while also, you know, vibing and having some fun. Okay, and if you don't want to listen to just one song for manifestation, you're like, okay, it's three minutes long, so many songs I want to listen to, why can't I just listen to them all at once? If you're like, I just want to listen to the music, but I want to hear the specific part over and over again of that song, then why not listen to my chaotic manifestation music, okay? <laughs> Which has like a bunch of positive um, statements for songs just mashed together. Best statements out of the song that you want to hear like all the time. I, them in this, I just like mashed everything into the song and like repeated them over and over and over and over again. It's perfect to saturate your mind and drown out any other limiting beliefs that you may have because there's too much going on in the, my little mashup thing. So if you want to quiet your mind, I recommend listening to that because it'll just saturate your mind with a lot. You can also create different music playlists for all your desires that help you get in the state of mind for focusing on different on the different desires you have. For instance, you can have a money playlist, a beauty playlist, a relationship manifesting playlist. You're going to use that playlist to get in the mindset, the state or the feeling or the thoughts of having that. If you don't like any of the songs out there, you don't trust anything, you're like, mm, no, there's no good song out there for manifesting, then okay, write your own song. If you have that talent, if you have that ability, use affirmations, use your scenarios to turn into a whole tune which you can listen to daily and whatever you want. Make your own manifestation music and then tell it to me, I'll listen to it as well. <laughs> And if writing a whole song is too much work for you, use a few affirmations to make a catchy statement yeah, that you can repeat whenever you want. For example, activation vibrations, everything is working out, best case scenario. Like that's kind of like a chant she created that's very popular. And also she, there's another one that's underrated, but I really like from her. I have lots of fun. I love to play, I laugh all day, I have lots of fun. I love to play, I laugh all day. I really like that. It's like a simple mantra that you can repeat over and over and over yourself in like a catchy little tune. So that's why I really like chants. I feel like you don't want to sit down to a firm, like sitting down a firm just feels like boring, it feels like a tour. You can literally do anything. You can put on your favorite music, you can put on your manifestation playlist or your manifestation music. You can affirm while you're dancing, while you're working out. It's so it's just 
just as simple as that. Well, farming is not a chore. You can do it whenever you are doing your daily activities anyway. You just integrate it with it. It's super simple and easy and you can even create your own choreo or follow an existing one while you're affirming and dancing and moving your body. If dancing is really not your thing but you still want to move to your body, you can go out in nature and you can walk or you can run or you can skip or you can jog and affirm for your desire. You can also put on subliminal or affirmation tapes or subliminals while wearing headphones to boost your walking or running exercise session. Like you're not only you're going outside getting that sunshine, getting that fresh air, but you're also you're moving your body while also listening and rewiring your mind with your beliefs that you desire. Perfect. I do this a lot of the time. If you don't want to move around, it's one of those days where like, okay, I don't want to go outside, I don't want to jump around, I don't want to sit down, but I wanna I wanna still focus on my affirming. You can affirm while you're mindlessly watching your shows or your movies, okay? You can use that time to affirm and especially when you're like like watching the happy and funny moments because that's when you're feeling that's when your mood is up more, more uplifted and um and raised. You can utilize those emotions to your advantage by happily repeating your affirmations. Now, if you don't really want to hear your affirmations, like you feel like they're kind of like limiting beliefs are getting in the way while you're trying to affirm, you can listen to music subliminals. And what music subliminals are, it's like it's music on top of affirmations which are hidden underneath of the music. So it's like all your affirmation, whatever affirmations you want, hidden under underneath the high vibe music or whatever music. I have plenty on this channel and there's so many on YouTube that you can find. There's also calm subliminals, for example, when you're like trying to read a book or walking or working, if you're trying to do something that you need to also focus on, you can find a calm subliminal, which I also have as well. Not all, I have like music one and I have a calm one, which is like filled with rain sounds, brown noise, things like that, just covered on top of it, white noise, whatever, while you're reading a book, while you're doing something that needs, you want to be at peace, okay? Even like before going to sleep, you can listen to calm subliminals to reprogram your subconscious mind for absolutely anything. If you don't trust people on YouTube, you can make your own subliminal. It's pretty easy. Maybe I can make a whole extensive guide and video on how I make mine, but it's pretty simple. I'm not trying to gatekeep anything here. There's also tutorials on YouTube that can help with that because you can use your own voice or you can, again, you can use TTS, text-to-speech, to write the affirmations and then put whatever music you want to put on top, whether it be calm or your, or your favorite songs. And if you really feel like listening to subliminals is not enough to manifest your desire and wire your mind, you can repeat affirmations while you're listening to the subliminal. It can help you align your attentions with your desire. And I want to make a whole video uh, about why subliminals may not work for you. Is because just because you're listening to something, and you like if you don't believe in what you're listening to, then what is how is it gonna manifest? Because your beliefs are what ultimately power the subliminals and your affirmations. Okay, so uh, that's the whole thing I want to talk about. But I don't want to make this video way too long. And if you have no time during the day to listen to subliminals, listen to affirmation tapes. You can find your favorite calm subliminal and loop it overnight or there's eight hour long subliminals as well you can listen to. You can listen to the subliminal overnight because your mind is also most open and aware. So listening to the subliminal at night is very effective but I don't personally like it because I find it really distracting especially while I'm wearing headphones. It's just, it's just, it's very overwhelming for me so I don't really do that as much. And again, there's always more and more and more options to manifest. Like this whole video just proves that you can manifest anything you want. There's no limitations in any different way. So if you don't like vibe with affirmations, you don't vibe with subliminals, try listening to Morphic Fields. I also listen to this a lot. And the best channel I recommend for this is Sapien Medicine, which is the best channel I recommend, highly recommend. And what Morphic Fields is, it suggests that the invisible energy fields beyond space and time influence our behavior. I'm just gonna say I've got really good results by listening to Sapien Medicine. 39 is sulfagio frequencies, which are nine tones derived from numerology, which were used centuries ago. These frequencies are believed to create positive shifts to those in proximity to them. So you've probably seen these all over YouTube, or 639 hertz frequencies, 999, like... It goes on and on. You see, you see all those frequencies on YouTube. You can also listen to them because each one of those frequencies help with different sets of stuff. So whether detoxifying, healing, it's a lot of like it's a lot of healing that can happen with those by listening to the frequencies. So especially if you want to manifest physical healing and clearing and detoxification, I highly recommend those frequencies. But 
Okay, this one is for people who are really like being social and have trustworthy friends who also are open to manifestation. You can use that to your advantage by repeating affirmations with them in person out loud. Like, it's such a fun little activity. You know, and plus it's the fun, it's like, there's no resistance because you're just repeating it just for fun. And I think that makes it much more powerful if you have someone that you trust to do this with. And if you don't have friends, if you don't have anyone you trust around you, that's okay because, again, we, we have solutions to everything. You can take your stuffed animal, take us whatever your, your child's stuffed animal, any little stuffed animal that you want, and talk to it. Repeat your affirmation to them as if you're telling someone. Pretend this is someone and you're telling someone, you're telling them your affirmations. Okay, okay, say if your friends are not in person, you can't meet up with them as much, long distance, whatever. First of all, you can also do FaceTime because, yeah, you can also video call them. But another thing is you can also text your friends as if the manifestation happened. Like, oh my god, my video went viral. Oh my god, that's so amazing. Oh my god, today, love of my life just texted me. Oh my god, like, you just, you're just gonna type it out as if it already happened. You can just do this for fun. And again, again, for, for those that don't have that trusted friend, that don't have anyone to talk to, you can add yourself in a group chat and text yourself. I think you have to add someone, but then take them out. But then you're in your, you're by yourself in a your group chat, and then you can just text yourself as if it happened. Simple, right? Right? We have a solution to everything. If you don't want to text your friend, if you don't want to text yourself, you can add yourself in the group chat again, okay, by yourself. Or add, also, you can add some friends in here as well. And then make the group chat name Universe or whatever you want to put it as, okay? Source, Universe, whatever. And whenever you desire something, just text it once, just trust it. Text it once, okay, Universe, I want this, this. Like, text it as if, you know, it's literally you're talking to the Universe. Trust that the Universe received the message and it's done. So think of it as if you directly have, you know, the mess, the number to the universe and you're directly telling them everything. Okay, you can also talk to your friend on the phone and as if you're telling them how your desire happened. I also said video call. Yeah, you can also just talk to them on the phone as well. And yes, I still do this. I don't talk to the phone. I don't do this gesture for on the phone. I do. I still do this. But also, also, if you don't have that friend, if you don't have that friend, you can use your phone and pretend that you're telling someone your desire already happened out loud, okay? And notice what you say, notice how you feel, imagine that the person, imagine what the person will say as well. Basically, you have your phone and you're, but you're talking as if you're, you're talking as if you're talking to someone, but you're actually talking to yourself. But if you don't want to talk out loud, okay, there's another method. Again, we have so many solutions here. You can visualize it in your mind as they were falling asleep that you're talking on the phone with your friend as if your desire happened. And you can do it waking up during the day um, or during meditation. It, you can loop that scenario over and over and over your mind as if that call actually happened. Hear their voice, hear your voice, hear yourself telling them. Notice how what they're saying, how happy they are for you. Notice yourself, how proud you are, how in the moment, how excited you are. Okay, congratulations method, okay? This is similar, but you can do it in many different ways. So imagine someone saying congratulations to you for X, Y, Z. Oh my God, congratulations that you graduated so fast. Congratulations for your dream job. Oh my God, you wanted this. It could be a job, a home, a car, channel success, whatever you want. Imagine others celebrating with you, congratulating you in person, on the phone, um, whatever. You're imagining the people that you love and trust congratulating you for your desire. If you don't want to imagine a conversation with anyone, just have a conversation with yourself, okay? As if you're speaking to yourself. Oh my god, I manifested that home. Finally, I manifested that home. Finally, we found the perfect home. We found the perfect home. Oh my god, my skin looks so clear these days. Wait, why does my skin look so clear? Like, you're having this conversation in your head and not out loud. Like, whatever, repeat it to yourself as if you already have it now. We're always having conversations with ourselves internally, unconsciously, without even realizing it. But now, use your conscious conversations as a key to manifest your desires. There's many videos on YouTube and TikTok about the whisper method, but basically you visualize yourself whispering into your SP or anyone the exact thing that you want them to say or to do. It utilizes your visualizations and affirmations so basically you're gonna tell the person that you want an answer from or like a something you want like conversation with oh you're asking me out you're asking me out you want to text me you want to text me you're talking to me you're talking to me like you're gonna you're basically gonna whisper to them mentally in your mind you're gonna see yourself like see you're gonna see yourself telling them this and they're gonna do it okay kind of like that it's kind of like a telepathic type message 
super underrated method i feel like this is super popular with the law of attraction but you're going to use gratitude and to be grateful for the things that you are yet to receive okay we're going to use affirmations such as i'm so thankful i'm so grateful i feel so blessed um full of my heart is full of gratitude i feel so grateful for this and that and you're gonna write or speak about how grateful you are for your desires as if they already happened and you're gonna really feel the grat gratitude in your heart because i feel like we're not grateful for these days you know instead of complaining i want you to replace it with gratitude and being grateful for what you have yet to receive and by but yet to receive i mean like oh i feel so grateful for my million dollars i feel so grateful that i have the perfect home i feel so grateful that i have the most amazing job like you're just gonna feel grateful that's all it is and if you don't want to incorporate emotions and you want a straightforward approach, try robotic affirming, which allows you to affirm your affirmations in a robotic, mechanical manner. Um, whenever you have time, no emotions required, just pure repetition and thought. That's what robotic affirming is. If you feel like you need a more tangible approach, an approachable way to truly recognize if you're making an impact with your affirmations or not, let me tell you about the 10k affirmation challenge real quick. So this is where you use your counter app to repeat affirmations 10,000 times, okay? Since science claims that 10,000 hours or 10,000 times is the amount needed to train the brain and re rewire your neural pathways, that is why the 10k affirmations is said to be very effective. Don't be limited, okay, by the number 10,000, okay? It can happen at any moment before you get reached 10,000 affirmations or after you reach 10,000 affirmations. Don't focus on the number. The number is just there as like a benchmark, okay? It's not really there for you to focus on the number, okay? The idea is for you to focus and repeat your affirmations. I have more information on my one of my recent videos that I posted if you want to know more. If you find it a hassle to count to 10k affirmations with your counter app, try something simple, okay? Basically take one, one or three times in your day to repeat your affirmations for 10 minutes, okay? Simply remind yourself of your desires. You're just going to use 10 minutes of your day one or three one or three times to repeat your affirmations okay in your head or out loud and if you find it hard to stay focused for the full 10 minutes and saturating your mind i have 10 minute affirmation tapes which are in i am or in you are tense so basically you can have it you can have it in i am like i am happy i am happy or you can have it in you are happy you are happy like that's how i have it set up so there's also many on youtube too if you don't want to listen to mine these affirmation tapes basically repeat these affirmations continuously so it doesn't even leave, leave space for you to think so and wander off you're just continually for 10 minutes focused on that Instead of 10 minutes, if you find like that's too much, okay, take three minutes, okay? Take three minutes and just to affirm and repeat a singular affirmation. Instead of 10 minutes where you can repeat like one to three affirmations at a time, you can use three minutes each for three affirmations, which takes you to nine minutes, which is close to 10 minutes. And this helps you focus on one particular affirmation instead of um, having the few being scrambled up in your brain. Okay, and I got this idea from uh, someone who left a comment on my Pinterest saying how they use my affirmation wallpapers and just set a time for three minutes and just affirm them and they feel so good i was like well that's such a nice idea so that's why i wanted to include this here overnight affirmation tape so basically you play your affirmation tape on a low volume overnight and if you don't have time during the day to listen to them you can just play them overnight on a low volume because again it can be very distracting and i have listened to overnight affirmation tapes if you like it you can you can do that if you feel like it's too much work to time yourself, pick out affirmations. I have a whole mental workout series, which I give you a whole list of affirmations you can choose from while you repeat the affirmations for six minutes each three times. It's also layered with the subliminal underneath, which has benefits of its own. So basically, it's like a whole package. You repeat the affirmations. It has like the frequencies. It has the subliminal underneath. And you, it's like a workout. It's a mental workout. So I highly recommend checking that out. If you need less mental work, if you have a lot going on here and you're a more visual person, just choose to visualize your desires and see yourself having them using a guided meditation that you can, you can create yourself or find on YouTube. If you don't really need a guided or visual meditation, like a whole scenario, you can create your own little mini scenario and loop that scene in your mind over and over again as you meditate in the morning or night. So this is different from a whole visualization scenario. It's just like a mini little scenario that you re repeat over and over, kind of like a little memory that you create and you just loop it over as if it really happened.
If you don't want to formally meditate, like sit down and meditate, choose to just visualize yourself having your desire through daydreaming, okay? We daydream all the time. Before you daydream, just set an intention that whatever you're daydreaming is real and fact. That's that's the difference between like the normal daydreaming that we do and conscious and intentional daydreaming. We're setting an intention that what we're daydreaming in our mind will actually manifest, okay? So you need more than just the visual mental image and you need more physical just create a printed vision board with your desires okay there's many videos on youtube on how to create an effective vision board so you can go ahead and follow them if you're like i don't want to waste any paper i don't want to have i don't even have a printer okay. create your vision board on pinterest we have so many options so many solutions again you can create multiple vision boards or a single board with multiple sections you can label those boards as your experiences okay such as my travel experiences my home my relationship my skin my self-love journey my this my that what i actually experienced you can label those different sections inside the board it's you what you actually experience and affirm that whatever is on your pinterest interest actually manifested if you actually need help getting into the mindset that whatever you put on pinterest actually manifested you can listen to i want it i got it's pinterest board subliminal while making it daily while scrolling through the board or i actually already have an affirmation tape about this pinterest vision board so you can also listen to it while you're looking through your pinterest and creating the board okay? If you do not want to use Pinterest and actually want to create a cute digital collage with your desires, use Canva to create your own vision board. I have a video on this. Okay. This is also for those people who don't want to physically cut out the pictures, okay? Putting them together, you can easily make the vision board on Canva and place it wherever you need to just by printing it out. You can have your own pictures on there. You can have Pinterest pictures on there. This is so you have everything in one little wallpaper. You're always on the go you're not really in your house in your room why have a printed vision board that you can't really see that much when you can just put it on your phone search the resolution size of your phone and create a custom size add all photos or pics of you that you want to include and make the vision board your home screen or your lock screen whatever you want you can do both as well why just stop at your phone? Search the resolution size of your computer screen and Google the Google tab wallpaper. Or create your vision board of that size and upload it on there to see it all the time. Therefore, the more these images are around you, the more it's going to soak in your mind. If you need actionable steps, not just visuals and mental work, and also if you love filming yourself, this is perfect for you. Basically, you're going to film yourself talking about how your desire already manifested, what happened, how you felt, what you did to manifest it, talk about how easily it happened, how grateful you are, and this makes it more fun and speak so casually. It can make it natural as possible, like you're speaking to your friends or on TikTok or on Instagram or whatever. If you're like a content creator, film yourself talking about your success story. You see so many people on YouTube do this, right? So you do it for yourself. If you feel embarrassed about filming yourself like this, just imagine it in your mind. Again, we have the power of there and now. So in your mind, you'll have the power to imagine yourself vlogging and talking about your manifestation and filming yourself looking at your phone and your camera and seeing like, oh my god, look, I manifested this, it happened so fast, like in your mind. You if you're a more artsy and hands-on person, I highly recommend painting out your desires. You can use whatever mediums of paint you want to express your desire however you want to manifest it's even more fun if you do this with friends or family just for fun just painting out all your desires like oh money oh fun oh love all this you can paint it all out but if you like sketching more why not just draw yourself having your manifestation okay even go as far as drawing a little mini comic of you having your desire it's like a fun it helps you get in the flow of it and you're literally drawing your out your reality in this way if you love accessories, like wearing them every day, uh, why not enchant them with their intentions and using placebos, okay? People literally make jewelry that enhances manifestation, but again, it's all a belief, so you can take any normal plain piece of jewelry, any necklace, earrings, bracelet, and intend that whenever you wear that certain thing, it gives you certain benefits. For example, I can say whenever I wear these earrings, it makes me um, express myself better. I feel more confident whenever I wear these earrings. You can enchant your jewelry in that way. Like, the more you intend that it does, the more, of course, it happens. Or for example, if you wear a necklace, you can say, always amazing things happen to me when I wear this necklace. So you can enchant those jewelries with repeated affirmations whenever you wear them like diy and crafts you can get together with your friends or maybe by yourself and you can use word beads and to put on affirmations in your bracelet so whenever you see that bracelet that you're wearing you see the affirmation like i am so lucky i am beautiful you can put those be word beads on that bracelet and you, whenever you see it you get reminded of that 
you can also enchant your clothes as well so you probably heard how people have like lucky socks or lucky shirts or lucky blanket or, or lucky scarf it's all a belief they associated with that item by confirming it over and over again whenever they wear it so you can do this too of obviously why can't you not you can find something that you feel so confident in something new or something that you already have and you can say that it's your lucky shirt it's your lucky pants it's your lucky sweater like whatever you want you can do that with anything okay it's your like confident sweater it's your this sweater like we can infuse the energy that we want now if you love crystals like me you can use certain crystals to manifest certain things depending on the type of crystal for example rose quartz for love citrine for creativity mentoring for luck and opportunities but you can program these crystals to amplify the benefits whenever you take it out with you or in public just by intending that it does for example i intend that whenever i take out an adventuring it makes me feel super lucky and i always attract incredible opportunities and experiences or you reaffirm that this crystal does that for you the stronger the connection and the increase in likelihood that your intentions and, and affirmations play out just like you intended i saw a gem goddess's video on this but basically she writes out a script of affirmations like a whole scenario that whatever she wants to manifest reads it out loud or you can read it in your head as well and holds the water as she's reading it out loud and that's in a glass jar and infuses the energy in the water and drinks a sip of it for the next 30 days to infuse that energy of the manifestations in her body because you know that water holds memory if water holds memory we can also hold the energy of our manifestations as well because the more love we put into that water the more it will go inside of us so so it also has the ability to, to hold the desired feelings that you wish to manifest so you can try this out and let me know how it works for you because yes it does work for a lot of people it's really connected to manifesting that way before you drink your tea or your coffee or your smoothie or your water you can mix it clockwise with the spoon to infuse your intention with the drink by holding the cup with your hands and saying how you want to feel after drinking i intend by drinking this tea i feel more healthy more peaceful more calm more relaxed okay you can infuse your intentions with the tea or i intend to feel energized or if you intend to feel productive therefore by setting positive intentions with the tea it makes you feel more mindful and intentionally think about what you're consuming and gives you power over what it does to your body okay I feel like this is very common in, in certain religions, but praying over your food or simply putting your hands over your food before you eat gives you the power to direct what this food does to you. You could say, as silly as it may sound, that by eating this donut, it could, it's making my abs toned, my stomach flat. You could say that. Okay? Eating this apple makes my cold go away. Okay? Everything is manifestation. Therefore, the more you infuse mindfulness and intentions into your everyday life everything becomes more magical and for more fun so try it with your food before you eat just put your hands over it and say oh i intend that this food makes me healthy makes me do whatever benefit you want just do that and fuse that into your life by setting intentions over your food and we've all done this before why not actually do it for fun get a dandelion or make a wish and as soon as you blow that dandelion consider the wish granted consider it done sometimes we can get too stuck in our heads when when we're like how do i manifest what do i do to manifest so making it fun like this makes us have less resistance and it's just fun okay get in touch with your inner child just blow a dandelion go out there if you have dandelions go out and blow them okay make a wish same with making a wish with our lashes. Don't pluck your lashes out. Whenever you catch one in your hand, you know, um, it always happens unexpectedly. It just make a wish okay, and let it go. If you never believed in this, you might just consider it ridiculous, but it's okay, okay? I have a belief that it works, so I like doing this whenever I get an eyelash in my hand. Sometimes we don't take our birthday wish seriously when blowing out our candles. Whenever your next birthday is and you're blowing out the candles on the cake, Make sure you set that intention okay, that all your desires will manifest instantly. Okay? Make your birthday more magical. So make sure whenever you have, you're blowing out your candles of your cake, consciously set an intention that whatever you desire will manifest, whatever wish you're doing. Just be conscious, be aware. That's all it is. Back to affirmations, if you don't have any specific affirmations or any specific thing you want to manifest, I just say general life affirmations. Okay? I can make an umbrella affirmation soundtrack soon if you want, guys want that, but an example of umbrella affirmations is everything goes my way life keeps working out in my favor everything in my life is perfect i already have my desires so therefore umbrella affirmations are not very like specific about a particular topic it just makes sure that every aspect of your life is covered like i'm feeling like my best self i'm thriving in every aspect of my life these are umbrella affirmations that just cover all aspects of your life
And if you can't decide on that umbrella affirmation, look like, I don't know what umbrella affirmation should do, there's so many. Just say, isn't it wonderful? There's many videos on why this affirmation is so impactful, but basically implies that you have everything that you want because you're saying, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? It was one of Neville's recommended affirmations and he has a success story with the lady who used it. So I highly recommend checking a video out on YouTube uh, if you want to know more about this affirmation and why it's so powerful. And if you don't like isn't it wonderful or if you don't like affirmations in general, try ask formations. Ask formations are basically affirmations formed as questions such as I am so pretty to why am I so pretty? I am so healthy to why am I so healthy? Ask questions to yourself. It triggers your brain to actually look for more evidence and answers compared to normal affirmations. So there you go. Just ask yourself questions because we ask them self anyway. Why do I have so much money? Why is my skin getting clearer? Why am I so lucky these days? Like you're just asking yourself questions and what triggers your brain to produce more answers don't like affirmations in the i tense you can listen to affirmations in the u tense which i also mentioned before feel uncomfortable affirming from your perspective in the i am perspective you can just affirm in the you are perspective you can imagine someone telling you oh you are so lucky oh you always get whatever you want oh your life is so perfect You're, you can imagine someone telling you these affirmations or you can listen to affirmation tapes in the u tense as well like now this might be a little controversial given you know ai but you can literally ask chat GBT for your manifestation routine. You can ask for affirmations. You can you can ask exactly what you need for whatever manifestation you desire. Okay, you can put in all your circumstances, needs, wants, and it will come up with the best solution. Okay, I know it's very controversial to use AI, but we still have access to it regardless. Why not use it to your advantage if you're in desperate need of it? If you really need help, if you don't want to tell anyone, use it, try it out. Okay? Be careful, don't put all your personal information though. Just put out what you can, what you need, okay? Be careful. Future me manifesting. This website allows you to write a letter to your future self and send it to yourself at any time. So if you like typing out your letters or typing out your scenarios compared to writing it out physically, you can type yourself letters as if you achieve what you wanted and send it to yourself every six months, um, every year, monthly, two years. You can send it to yourself as many times as you want in whatever time period you want to. I highly recommend checking this website out because it's so fun. And also, it's really nice to get your letter like a month later, a year later to see like how different you are a person compared back then when you wrote it. I don't know if you guys heard of them, but they're created by Grigory Grabovoy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I made up these codes to try and heal people by changing their electromagnetic field. Grabovoy codes aren't supported by science, but many people still believe they really work. They are a manifestation tool and each code is claimed to help you manifest something such as money, luck, health, um, like any physical condition, good grades, fame, whatever you want. You have to write out these codes on yourself, repeat it, or hear it. I know this might be very out there for people who have not heard it before, but I recommend searching them up. I never tried it out personally, but I'm pretty sure they can work because again, everything is a belief. Okay, now we're gonna get a little bit witchy. I've done this before, but basically I followed Anita Serene's video on making sigils, who was previously known as Star Girl, the Practical Witch. There's many ways you can make a sigil, but basically what you do is you write down an affirmation that indicates what you want to manifest, such as I am wealthy. You take the letters through an intensive elimination process, so no extra vowels, no extra this, no repeat letters, and then you redraw them and reform them to make your almost unrecognizable like symbol and it's a sim simple symbol that you create to that indicates your desire. I made a bunch of sigils and you can also, you don't have to remember the affirmation that you wrote down, but every time you look at the, that symbol, it supposedly activates your affirmations and intentions and emotions. It's a very basic witchy activity, but I think it's fun. I've seen on this on Insta Reels a lot, but basically you write your affirmation or desire on a piece of bay leaf and burn it up as to indicate that you let it go. And bay leaves in general have many spiritual properties that have been used for cleansing um, anyone's space, but in overall, they ward off negativity and stress, so that's probably why bay leaves are also used for manifestation. And if you don't have a bay leaf or if you don't have access to bay leaf, you can write your desire on a piece of paper, then very, very safely, very safely, burn it with a candle. Okay? Focus on the feeling of already having your desire as it's burning. Do this in a very safe place, obviously, obviously, if we're very young. Moons are often associated with intentions, freshness, renewals, so it's generally considered like a perfect time 
for you to manifest because of the positivity and optimism that surrounds it. Therefore, you can do whatever manifesting ritual you want around this time and thus the energy will be heightened. So whether you want to listen to your affirmations, you want to make a sigil, you want to burn a bay leaf, do whatever you want around this time and use it to your advantage. That's all there is around the new moon. You can even do your water ritual on a water manifestation routine as well. Full moons, on the other hand, uh, represent the end of the lunar cycle, so it's all about letting go, releasing, and shedding old energies. Therefore, this time would be perfect to address and let go of limiting beliefs that no longer serve you. So you can write out a whole letter of all the stuff that you want to let go of, rip it off, burn it, drown it, do whatever you can, trash it, let go of those old beliefs. Okay. Okay, I don't know if someone else came up with this already, but this is something I thought of and it basically involves buying like a little baby plant, a new plant that's in a pot and naming it your desire, like money, new house, love, confidence, new job, whatever. And you basically take care of that little plant and grow it, assuming it represents your desire. So you're basically growing your desire and thinking the better you take care of this plant, the better and more abundant your desire will manifest. You're basically harvesting your desire. So you're taking care of it, you're putting love and energy into watering it, putting in sunshine, giving the proper care it needs as if it's your desire. So you can take a relaxing bath infused with essential oils, bath salts, bath bombs, and repeat your affirmations or visualize your desires coming true because we're in the water, we're relaxed, we're calm. So it's perfect for you to affirm for your desires. And instead of creating those fake scenarios okay, where you're stressed out, fighting, giving a good arguments and comebacks, like, I know, I know. You can use that time to actually visualize what you want to experience, okay? Be more conscious and aware. And use your time wisely in the shower to visualize your desires and scenarios instead of those fake arguments. Lucky girl, lucky person mindset. Basically, you're going to adopt the mindset of being the most luckiest person alive. And this was a whole trend on TikTok. And you're going to become that lucky person that everything you want comes to you easily because you're so lucky. And I also have affirmation tape to for this if you need help. And there's also a lot of subliminals on this. And it can transform your entire life just by adopting that you're the luckiest person ever. You don't have to worry about anything else because you're just that lucky. You get everything you want. If you have in something or have a limiting belief about something and it's not what you want, you don't want to have that anymore, that memory or that experience, you can basically erase that memory or experience by affirming it never happened and choose your desired circumstance instead. I've always had clear skin. I always had perfect grades. My grades have always been beautiful. You can revise, erase, rewrite a scenario that happened and you rewrite it as if it never even happened. So definitely try it out if you have a limiting belief or something you just want to get rid of. Be like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. So you can just say it never happened. Self-concept is one of the most important of them all. Self-concept is the way you view yourself and your life. It shapes everything, how much money you earn, what you identify with as a person, what you attract, what you experience, everything. So it's very important that you work on your self-concept every day, every day, because you deserve to put yourself on a pedestal and by shifting your limiting beliefs you carry and replacing them with beliefs that will serve you in the long run, you'll ultimately help all aspects in your life with manifestation. If your self-concept tells you that you don't deserve happiness, you don't deserve to experience joy, what do you manifest your desire and something that actually should make you really happy but you have a self-concept that says that that makes you believe deep down that you don't deserve happiness then how can you enjoy your manifestation to the fullest so here's the key you can manifest whatever you want we deserve to prioritize ourselves, and we deserve the best so that's why if you change your self-concept you change your life you change everything instead of focusing ex externally on i want this i want this on this your self-concept internally changes everything so therefore you don't have to worry about anything because it comes to you naturally for example if you have a belief leave a self-concept that says you manifest whatever you want instantly you will manifest whatever you want instantly there's no pushback no resistance so mind mapping this is where we get organized we're gonna create a map of your desires we're gonna break them down into smaller actionable steps so this helps you stay focused and motivated on what the limiting beliefs you have in those areas and what areas you can focus on analyze everything you want to shift 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 release all these beliefs and remind yourself that you can get what you want you can have what, whatever you want you're creating actionable steps which can be affirming for your desire of meditating like it's actionable steps in that way it's not like you have to go out and go run and get it no that's not what i'm talking about actionable steps meaning like meditating visualizing how can you remind yourself throughout the day that you have this creating a vision board putting sticky notes everywhere basically using whatever method i have and saying how can I use this into actionable steps which takes me into my last and final 100 
100th way to manifest your desire. I hope you are taking notes because if you can write whatever manifesting method you liked from this video, write it down and think how you can use it in your daily life. I can make a whole video on how to create a perfect manifestation routine. If we integrate affirmations into your daily routine, by seeing them while brushing your teeth, doing your morning shower, or while cooking, make your routine more fun and by doing all these steps, you don't, you don't have to feel like you're stuck with one way, oh this is how to do one way I pick and now this is what I have to do for the rest of my life. No, change it up sometimes and come back to this video if you need a reminder on how you can make your manifestation routine fun again. And little by little, it will be normal for you to make time for all these activities and without even realizing it, it will be so effortless for you to make time for your manifestations, remind yourself that you have it because guys, it's not a chore, it's not a chore to remind yourself that you can have what you want, okay? It's a chore to live like this and be stuck in the reality it's a chore to constantly feel like you have to struggle in your life that's the chore the chore is not to remind yourself oh i can have this the chore is not to say that you're that you're confident that you're happy that you deserve love the chore is to stay in that same old reality because it's tiring it's exhausting it's more tiring and exhausting to live the same way and not get you what you want okay. this video was simply a reminder for you you can manifest in any different way this is a solution so no more complaining no more saying that i can't do this because i don't have friends i can't do this because i don't have paper i don't can't do this because i don't have digital you have all the methods you have all the ways and it's for now for you to decide on how you want to use them so there you have it 100 ways to manifest your desires um i hope you found some new ways and again this reminder that whatever 100 ways i showed nothing is more powerful than another nothing is more better than the other like the people say it is like whatever works for you is your method okay there's no specific method that's more powerful that's more amazing because again different things work for different people so you go ahead and try whatever you want again this video was just was for fun and i'm gonna start a new thing where i have an affirmation for every speaking video that i have so th this video's affirmation is manifesting is so easy i can manifest whatever i want manifesting is so easy i can manifest whatever i want so whatever space or point in time you are listening to this video or watching this video right now you can repeat this affirmation because it's the perfect time you're never too late you're always at the right place at the right time no matter what situation you're in i'm sending you lots of love because once again you are enough you deserve the best and i'll see you soon bye it was also one of the reasons that i've been not posting on this main channel as much as i do on my second channel and it's because i've been working on creating this video and also honestly procrastinated a lot on filming and editing and recording this video because of the amount of effort i knew i had to put into it but honestly i had so much fun putting it together and it was really fun really exciting and i had this idea i just know i had to do it. i know i wanted to do it so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video because i really put a lot of effort and thought and care and love into it